guys I'm back here with another uh, Castle Clash video and um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and showcase some of my things and showcase some of the new features of the update so first off we have the squad showdown which is seemingly going to be pretty cool let's take a look so what you do essentially is you create a team um, these are the heroes at the bottom that you're given and you can select four of them put on whatever talent you want or whatever crest set um, it looks like it'll be interesting. We'll probably see a lot of guys with the same heroes, talents, and crests, but um, surprisingly there might be a few people that don't have some things. Like, I have a Thunder God. I wouldn't expect a whole lot of people having a Thunder God out there, but um, the stuns could be pretty nasty. Especially to start off with, that initial stun would be nice <clears throat> to get Skull Knight going to get the Arctica with the scatter. All right. And you get shards each match, it looks like, and you get, it looks like you get about three a day, maybe a day. And uh, these are the time periods in which you can um, commence in battle. And then it looks like there's going to be a fame reward at the end of the season. Um, I would like that, because fame is so hard to come by, as you all know. Specifically, I don't know, we'll see, maybe it's like 50 fame or like 500 fame. I'd be a little disappointed if it's a low amount of fame, but that's fine. Um... Here's Ronin, the new hero. He's pretty, uh, pretty bamf, I'm not gonna lie. The Hidden Zen skill is nasty. I've seen a couple, uh, videos with him in, uh, in battle, and it looks like he's pretty OP. To me, he looks like the best hero that's ever dropped in Castle Clash overall. Uh, that's a bold statement, but his just, he has the highest attack in the entire game, and he goes invisible, which is a whole new aspect that we've never seen before. Um, he's elusive for 4.5 seconds every 6 seconds. And granted, that 6 seconds resets um, if he's got a full proc uh, as soon as he goes invisible. So he, for 4.5 seconds out of those 6 seconds where it resets, if that makes sense, um, he's up, pretty much he's only up for a second and a half where you can actually hit him. So you've really got to hit him hard. And his health isn't even that bad, so... I don't know, there's got to be something that can destroy this hero. I'm not sure what it is, but there's got to be. And he's pretty much the most badass-looking evolved hair hero as well. Um, he's like Ninja's older brother that went off to fight in the underground in Japan or some shit. But um, that's pretty cool. Of course, the new, uh, the new pet that came. Where's my stupid-ass hero plaza? There it is. Um... I don't even have him yet. It took a while, but I don't have him, which is weird. But Chickaboom, he looks like he'll be pretty decent. He looks pretty similar to like all the other heroes, to be honest. With, except for the twenty percent chance to do five times the damage. That's pretty cool, um, and that's at level one. So I'm excited to start using these new heroes. Um, I feel like I got a, I got a feeling that I'm gonna get Ronin on my first try. It's a bold statement, but I got a feeling. So look out for that uh, gem rolling video. I'll probably roll it around 6k. And uh, I'm calling it right now. We'll get a Ronin. And if we don't get a Ronin, we'll get a Skull Knight. Or we'll get both. Who knows? But uh, yeah, that's with the new update. And I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I have Druid Double Evolved. I only do that because he's got the Elighton. Um, don't even look at that. That's terrible. I made a huge mistake and put a bulwark on PD when I could have easily put him on Santa Boom or Vlad. But I got a 5-8 War God for Vlad, which was nice. And then a 6-8 for Dredrick. I actually rolled these two War Gods in the same day. 5-8s, which was pretty pretty gnarly. But, um... Yeah, I'm trying to get Spirit Mage up because he's pretty beast for dungeons. Anyways, where I'm at in the game, dungeon-wise... Insane Dungeon, I'm trying a 3 flame, 2, 1, so I can get that last artifact. It's annoying. It's annoying as hell. If any, if anyone has any tips, just let me know, but holy fuck, like, I, I'm, I'm trying so hard. Whatever, I'll get it, I guess. Easiest, easiest one. Took me one try to do this. 110. So easy. You guys can do it. No problem. And it's a good-ass sweep. 69 plus 4, 32,000. Especially if you're a lower mite like myself, it's nice. 
Uh, anyways, that's just something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, keep on the lookout for that rolling video. And if you guys want me to roll for you, just hit me up on the line. My name is Wallbangas with a Z at the end. And uh, let me know you want me to, and I'll do it. All right, see ya.